my beautiful aqua gang 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 in this thing 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 what to do, do you guys it's your girl and for 777 here today with a, a general message for my beautiful aquarian souls my aqua gang in this thing sun moon rising and venus signs hope you guys are doing super fantastic i most certainly am just cleanse this energy real good because it feels a little heavy okay it's getting kind of heavy holy angels and spirit guys please come through give us exactly what it is that we need to know i get somebody hiding yeah we're trying to hide something because we did not get a pre-shuffle so give us exactly what we, it is that we need to know holy angels and spirit guys we open up this space so that you can show us exactly what needs to be presented for aquarius sun moon rising and venus signs please keep in mind you guys that the messages are in fact general don't force anything to fit use your own intuition to guide you towards the messages that are here for you today and leave the rest for whoever else it might be here for us we are here as a big family as a collective of aquarians so just take what resonates leave the rest that's how it goes okay cross watchers you happen to be dealing with an aquarius you're also welcome just place yourself where you belong in the storylines. Please keep in mind also and keep an open mind when it comes to my tarot. It is fluid and it is timeless. OK, so this could be something that is currently unraveling, something that has unraveled here in the near past or something that will be intended to unravel here in the near future. OK, if we could all just take a moment and click that like button, I won't spend too much time on it. It just helps people find us on the platform. It's one of the easiest ways to energetically donate to the channel. So I appreciate those of you who do it every single time. I see you. I see you. Also, if you have not made it official, we would love to have you. We are now at 78K, y'all. Okay, we're trying to get to that big 80. We really trying to get to that big 100. Okay, 100. But listen we celebrate all of the big and small feats we are we're definitely a big community here and i'm so appreciative of you guys so again if you have not subscribed please consider it we would love to have you and we want to continue to grow shoot me a little comment down below that's good for engagement but it's also good for me <laughs> it feeds my soul i see you guys down there conversing some of y'all are hella funny okay i'm an aquarius as well so i get it we, we're funny like that so i just love to see it shoot me a little hey girl hey or whatever kind of discourse you guys want to have down below i love to see it i don't get to respond to all of the comments but i do get my life down in those comments baby so let's see what we have going on here i definitely okay so here's the thing during the meditation nothing i mean like silence okay there's no pre-shuffle and just as i was cleansing the energy there a moment ago with the palo santo i heard somebody is hiding so they're either hiding something or they're they're just being quiet maybe there's a hidden motive of some sort there could be um, an energy of feeling intimidated okay so some sort of intimidation okay you might be one of the illest people that they've dealt with meaning good meaning like upper echelon meaning like you know high quality high value high esteem they like they don't want to mess it up so I get them doing too much or not doing enough. There's something to that effect. OK, so let's see here. Somebody is really feeling you, however, but they're not showing it. They're not showing it. They are silent, quiet. Huh? So you might not even recognize that this person likes you as much as they do. Mm hmm. Or that they develop feelings for you. Somebody is not saying something. They're hiding it. They are. They're hiding it. They don't want to mess it up. But I feel like they're doing more harm than, than anything else by not saying something. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Addiction. I'm hearing like, I'm addicted to you. You're my addiction. Is this someone that you are currently separated from? Or the two of you are just on the outs? Doesn't necessarily have to be. It's just a question that I'm posing. I'm hearing like two different groups. It's kind of split here. Okay. Some of you are, have not spoken to this person in quite some time. They are fiending. They, they really want to talk to you. They're trying to act like they don't. Like they're trying to act like they're fine, but they're really not. So they may just um, be settling for like lurking on your social media, trying to um, see what you're doing and putting out there on social media because they can't actually talk to you or haven't actually seen you. 
they're hiding something. So this person may be hiding the fact that they actually do want to reconcile or that they, they're in love, right? Like they, they want this. Why would they want to pretend like they don't want it though? That doesn't make sense, right? You normally go towards your addictions full force. In fact, an addiction suggests that you can't stay away from something that you should stay away from. So this person feels like you're not good for them. They're looking at this as an addiction. So for some of you, that could be because there have been lots of ups and downs, lots of highs and lows, right? That's also a signifier of addiction, a roller coaster. Yeah, they, they, you bring out a side of them that they don't necessarily like, but they also can't help themselves from like craving you, desiring you. Um, I hear them like fantasizing. This person really misses you. Like they're, they're about to break any minute here. If you have not spoken to this person, they may also be a little bit perturbed is the word that they're using that you haven't attempted to reach out to them or you have not attempted to have a conversation about reconciliation. This feels all over the place. I'm not even going to hold you. Their energy is all over the place. They don't really know where to direct it. Yeah, they feel like you're not good for them. They feel like you're no, you don't, you're no good for them, <laughs> but they want you, but they feel like you're no good for them. This could be how you feel about this person. Okay. It could also go that way. The two of you could be mirrored in that energy where it's sort of like it, it hurts so good, <laughs> right? It's so confusing to try and explain it to other people is out the window because nobody gets it. Nobody understands. But even to try and explain it to yourself is just you coming out. You, you're just coming up with nothing because you can't explain it. It's unexplainable. This pull, this hold that this thing, this person, right? This relationship, they called it a thing, right? So I get this person wanting to like remove themselves from it, like look at it from the outside looking in, but they're having a hard time doing that. So they absolutely miss you. They miss, they miss what it used to be. So what is this? That's what they're saying. I couldn't let you get close. That is a contradiction. I couldn't let you get close. You're no good for me. I'm hearing like maybe this person sees themselves being able to or eventually losing themselves. They feel like they will lose themselves in this relationship. This person may have given you a really hard time whenever it did seem like things were getting off the ground. They would do something. OK, either to push you away pull themselves away from this. They're scared. They are absolutely scared. So if it's not already a full blown addiction and they're not using this verbiage, they're scared that it will get to this point, right? They can see themselves falling pretty hard. So instead of allowing that to naturally unfold, I see like sabotage for sure. Sabotage love. Okay, stop playing, right? So here's the thing. You feel like this person is playing games with you, but I feel like it's them up in their head, okay? They do need to stop this though. And I get that they're not explaining this. They're not explaining it at all because they don't know how, okay? I get when they try to have conversations with other people about how you make them feel, about how they feel about this, about what it is that you do to them, right? What it is that you evoke in them. You're not even trying, right? But this is how they feel. Like, this is what you do to me. They're definitely putting a lot of blame on you. <laughs> I'm just saying that, okay? Um, nobody gets it. Nobody understands. So they kind of just keep it to themselves. And it's sort of like, well, if I tell my friend this, or if I explain this to people around me and they don't get it, then Aquarius certainly won't get it or won't understand, I also get them scared of some form of abandonment. If I sabotage it first before I get dropped, then yeah, it'll hurt because I, I definitely want this. I want Aquarius. I want us. I want this relationship, but I get to avoid heartbreak, right? I get to avoid that whole thing. If I do it myself, I won't have to deal with the abandonment wound. Hmm. You act like I was the worst.
So there's definitely something about you that has evoked this. I, I definitely feel like very scared, you know, terrified energy. Stop playing. So you feel like this person is playing games with you and they are. OK, um, it's not intentional, but that doesn't make it right. I see them attempting to try and have a conversation with you and getting shut down. OK, so they feel like you're shutting them down, like you're not giving them a fair shot or a fair chance or they just feel misunderstood. OK, you have no idea how much you affect this person. You have no idea. They've hidden it so well. They're still hiding it. Um, who are you? So they feel like this is much deeper. Oh, not this deck. Okay. They're saying, girl, wrong deck. Can you pay attention? Okay. They, they feel like this is much deeper than your run of the mill boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, I like you, you like me. They're almost scared of this. I'm not even going to hold you. They are scared. They're scared about how they feel. It feels good, but it's terrifying. So perhaps this person has never been in love before. They've never encountered a spiritual connection. This does feel very much so spiritual, you guys. This addiction card can speak of, like I said, a magnetism. It's unexplainable why I would keep going back to someone who triggers me or who makes me feel, you know, great, but also makes me feel extremely scared about where this is going or what's going to happen. I couldn't let you get close because they feel like they would have been playing with fire yeah okay so before before we finish up let me look at that ace of cups in the reverse the ace of cups is definitely on the upright okay it's up front and center they have a lot of they, they love you this person loves you they love you okay you're hard to read that's what i'm hearing they can't they can't read you they don't know if you're in or out um you come off as vague that's just your personality. That doesn't mean that you don't have feelings for this person, but I get it's triggering something within them. What they're saying to me now is I couldn't let you get close, right? There's an addictive quality. You may have had some um, consistency with this person and then all of a sudden it goes cold. It's very hot and cold, hot and cold on for a good week and a half, two weeks, sometimes even a month and then nothing. Right. And then all of a sudden you get this shift, you get this change. And for you, it might seem as if this person is playing games. They're not. It's sort of like as soon as it gets so good, they're like, would you please stop playing with fire? Right. Like this girl could really shatter your could shatter you. Right. This guy could shatter you. You wouldn't be you will be no more good if you keep playing with this. So they are viewing you as fire. Maybe you have fire prevalently in your natal chart, like a rising sign, Aries, Sag, Leo. Or Venus, possibly Mars. Um, there's something fiery about you. It's attract. It's attractive and it's um, alluring, but it's also a threat. It's threatening to to whoever, to whatever this person has going on internally, or whatever it is they fear the most. You act like I was the worst. This could just be a thought that they're having in their own mind. OK, um, because they're not talking. Look at that. Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. God damn it. Really? It's giving puss puss. Say something. Just say something. You act like I was the worst. So I get them having like conversations in their head about how this how this could go. If they decide to bring this up to you, how this could actually play out. That is also something that they're extremely terrified of. So this has a lot banking on it. Um, I do get this person like thinking I have never felt like this before. Right. Like kind of like scared to say something is crazy. You are quite different. Quite different. Yeah, you make them nervous, give them butterflies. Um, what say you, Aqua? How do you feel about this person? You know, present day. 
um, I get that this is all hidden. This is not something that you know. And this person has been hiding this. They are they are fronting. Um, they've been hiding it pretty well. And it's because they're trying to guard themselves, right? They're trying to guard themselves from rejection. So instead of in, instead of coming towards you and anticipating you wanting to stay single or not really viewing them as a long-term option, I get them doing some pretty toxic things, okay? I couldn't let you get close. Yeah, I get them wanting, they were looking for some kind of sign from you to signify that you felt or feel the same way and they cannot read you. Who are you? With two question marks, right? Because it's sort of like, they get every guy or girl that they want. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't have issues with, with relationships. They don't have issues with forward movement. You know what I'm saying? They don't have like self-esteem issues, but you've triggered something in this person and they're trying to figure it out. It's frightening for them. They don't feel like themselves. They may feel like their mojo is gone. They're not as smooth as they used to be. They're not as cool or chill as they used to be. They actually care a whole hell of a lot. So there's a lot banking on this emotionally. So instead of them building up the strength and having the confidence to try and see this through, they have cowered away. And for some of you, they've done some things or said some things to make you think that they weren't all in for real. And here's the type of person that you are. <laughs> okay. If you show, if you don't give a damn, I don't give a fuck. Right. And they can't handle it. This is somebody who who's bitten off more than they can chew. Instead of them just coming out and saying, listen, I fucking love you. Like, I want to be with you. Like, I want this to be a thing. I want this to be long term. I don't really see myself without you. I want to solidify this, whatever. OK, instead of them expressing these feelings or emotions, they're looking for a sign from you, which they never get because they can't read you. OK, they need hooked on phonics for Aquarius. They cannot read you. OK, so they're lost. They're lost in the sauce. So instead they decide to mimic your behavior but it's not coming off correctly you see what i'm saying it, to you it looks like they're playing a game with you or they're playing games they're playing mind games or they it might even trigger some things that you've been through in the past and it's like yeah i'm not going through that again you see what i'm saying i'm not gonna wait for it to get to the worst bitch as soon as i see the first motherfucking flag you're out of there um so <laughs> So here's the thing, right? Like they've bitten off more than they can chew. Them trying to portray themselves as if they don't care or as if this doesn't mean anything has only led you to not care more, right? Like it's like if you don't care, I don't give a fuck, right? Like here's the thing. You don't want, you are playing with fire. And this is something that they are realizing and recognizing, there's a phrase that I'm thinking of, but it's not coming to mind or a phrase that they're trying to send to me. Um, you know how, okay, so for example, do you know how someone can be like, okay, fine, I'm just going to be a player or a play it and I'm just going to have friends with benefits or a situationship. This is just an example. And then they go out and do that and they meet somebody who is really about that life and they're like, and they catch feelings. They can't do it. They're not, it's, they're not really equipped like that. So what's happening is it's making it worse for them. You see what I'm saying? They can't read you. And now they're trying to act like they don't care, but they really do. And since they're acting like they don't give a damn, you're acting like you don't give a fuck, which is making it even worse on them. It's not working. You see what I'm saying? Confusion. They may also be confused that you're not um, like the other guys or girls that they've dealt, dealt with or dated before prior to you. They may um, be used to people getting addicted to them or people wanting to people making it very clear that I like you. I'm into you. I want you. But they cannot. You're not giving that, you see. And they did play a game. We're going to call it. We're going to call a spade a spade, ma'am, sir, bruh, sis. You played this game and Aquarius is whipping your 
ass in this game because you are not this. You're not built like that for real. You absolutely care. And it's backfiring on them. It is backfiring. And as they are noticing that they're pushing you away, actually, instead of bringing you closer or drawing you closer, that it's not working. Now, all of a sudden, they don't want to play no more. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Now, all of a sudden, it's like, yeah, recess is over, bitch. I love you. Let's stop this. Let's cut this out. I want you like, yeah, I don't get that they've ever had to have that. They don't initiate those kind of conversations. It just kind of unfolds. It happens naturally. This is a whole new world, bitch. A whole new world. <laughs> don't you dare close your eyes, bitch. This is a whole new world. They've never dealt with an Aquarius before. Got it. Got it. Yeah, those type of reindeer games don't work over here, B. It don't work like E. This is not the past. Come on into the future. Let me introduce you to the future. <laughs> okay, Aquarius is the future, not the past, bitch. <sighs> yeah. So this is something that they are now recognizing and realizing, but they've already created this disimbalance. Can they come back from this? Let me know down in the comments. What type of time are you on? Like, what are you, what are you feeling? They genuinely, they like you. For some of you, they love you. They really want this. Whatever this is that you started to feel about this person that was red flaggish was an illusion. It was all a... A, a, a scheme <laughs> it was a scheme that Todd set up you see who the bitch who the fuck is Todd listen it's an inside joke I shouldn't do that listen it was all a dream they dreamt that if they played it like this you would be like the bitches from the past you'd be like their their dudes from the past they would have gotten what they want, which is to be with you. And all is well in their land. All is well in the world. And then Spirit said, wake the fuck up. Don't you dare close your eyes. It's a new world, bitch. It's new. Brand new. So it might be scaring them a little bit. I'm not even going to hold you because I don't... I feel like the people from their past, yeah, they were able to get... Or rather, these people were able to get them. They were always the ones um, sought after. This is the first time that they're seeking to 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 um, acquire, attain, court. Fish out of water. So this is suffocating them, right? Fish out of water. I'm seeing them like flipping all over the ground. They, um, this is su it feels suffocating. For sure. I do see them trying to fix this, you guys. It's really going to be up to you. Okay? <laughs> yeah. It's your world, right? It's really going to be up to you. Um, nine of Cups, right? So, they may have fucked it up royally, is what I'm hearing. The one person that they actually want that they actually want it to work with, um, they could have really messed it up. This is them like pleading their case in their mind because they're trying to go through in their mind like every scenario, how this could how how this could actually unfold. If I say this to Aquarius, what, what would Aquarius say? And if Aquarius says that, then I'm going to say, I wasn't the worst. Right? They're coming up in their mind. They're, they're kind of having the conversation in their mind, the back and forth, how it's going to go, how it's supposed to go. Now, I don't know about that, ma'am, sir, brussis, I'm talking to your person now, because as we can see, this whole little game that you played was what you came up with in your mind. I think we need to put your mind on ice for now, bitch. It's not working. Not here. It's not working here. You see, it's a different playbook. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know if your brain is equipped to go toe to toe with the Aquarius, especially depending on what you did. Now, depending on what you did, you may literally be walking into the lion's den. Forget fire. Forget fire. They're like lions are fire. Okay, fine. It's still fire. And you might think it's just like one little flame, one little flick of a candle, just a little candle. And it's actually a whole motherfucking lion. Which 
one are you guys? Are you just the candle and they just need to come and, you know, light the flame and just like talk it out and we're good? Or are you the lion ready to bite their motherfucking head off? It's really going to depend on what they've done, okay? And how this has actually played out. And now they don't want to play no more, right? Like they give up, they forfeit, you win. Nine of Cups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they feel like they're going to get one of two versions of you. They're coming in as the Knight of Cups. It's a very sweet energy, romantic. They're going to do something extremely romantic, okay? Um, this is like planning something, coming in with gifts, um, possibly cooking for you, wanting to take you to a nice dinner. They definitely want to meet in person. They first have to get you to accept the invitation, but if you do, they're going to lay it on super thick. I'm talking thick as a loop dancer, man. Okay, thicker than a snicker. Yeah, super thick. Knight of Cups. Wearing their heart on their sleeve. It's like a 180 from the person who was trying to hide it until they, they met somebody who actually is about that. Like, you won't know what's going on inside of me, bitch. Okay, that's something that you have to earn. You got to earn it. I think Aquarians get that. We we get misperceived or it's a misconception about us that we don't have feelings. It's a lie. That's a lie, bitch. It's just valuable. You know, everybody doesn't get access to that. You have to earn it. You have to work for it. You have to, you know... And the people who have been let in, they'll let you know, bitch. It's, it's, it's lit. It's lit once we let you in. But before that, yeah, you are left to roam around and just wonder and guess and come up with your own stories if you want to. And if you come up with your own stories and think that you're about to play me the way that you play them, bitch, I got another thing coming to you. So we have the knight, uh, I'm sorry, the king, king, kings or queens, gender doesn't matter, king of wands, king of swords. So this is, again, like I said, they're, they're coming up in their head there. This is a plan. They have to plan something. They want a new cycle. They want to start over. They don't want it to be about the past. They want to start completely over a clean slate and they want to come in as who they actually are instead of trying to pretend like I'm that dude, I'm that guy, I'm that girl. I don't need to show my feelings. I don't need to be vulnerable. I don't need to do none of that because you're not doing that yet. No. You might want to show that if you're trying to get access to Aquarius, right? Like, so they're learning this. <laughs> they're learning you. Um, Back to this conversation that they're having in their mind, right, about how this might go. They, they are um, signifying that they can get one of two versions of you. The version that is receptive, right, and open. The attractive qualities about you, right? They feel like you're passionate, you're, you're charismatic. Um, you may really be able to... Um, pull them in right with your verbiage and your allure and for some of you there's this mystique and mysteriousness about you um the king the king of wands can be like joking and you know just lighthearted energy flirting they're hoping that they get that version instead of the king of swords which is like cut the business you got shit twisted now this joking. <laughs> yeah right which is this is going to be more difficult for them to they, they're going to be more nervous if they get this version of you. They might not be able to pull this off because there's something about this person's pride, right? Where they want a risk. They want somebody who is at least giving them a sign that this offer will be accepted. Otherwise, they're going to try to match the energy. And that has not worked, ma'am, sir, brussis. You're going to have to do this on your own. Some of my Aquarians ain't giving you shit. It depends on what you did, okay? Yeah, you're not getting a sign or a signal that they're going to be open to nothing. Grow a pair, bitch. Grow a pair. Grow some cojones and do it. What, what's the worst that can happen? They like, bitch... Uh, my ego might die. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. And then it'll be a lesson well learned. You see, they don't feel like they would be able to um, recover, which is dramatic. It's very dramatic, but it's valid, I guess, you know, since they've never had to do this before. 
They want the sweet side of you. They want the sweet version of you. Um, they don't want you to come in, no nonsense, talking facts, right? You know, sword on go. Look, look, the sword is in the hand. Like you say one wrong motherfucking thing, bitch, I'm going to cut you from the root. I tell you, they scared. They is scared. <sighs> okay, listen, we're hopping over to the extended. I got to dig in. I do. I need to see where this is actually going. I, I definitely want to look into their next steps and their intentions behind those next steps. That's going to let you know if this is worth your motherfucking time. I also want to know what you get out of this. If you re-engage with this person, is it worth your motherfucking time? Hmm? We know what you're bringing to the table. What are they actually bringing to the table? And this version of themselves that they're calling the real version, is that really true? Is that actually who they are? Hmm. What would have made them want to do it this way in the first place and play with fire? I also want to make sure they're not going to take that route anymore either. Because it feels competitive. Like, if you're going to do that, then I'm going to do that to you. If you're going to act like that, I'm going to act like that. If you're going to be like that, I'm going to be like, no, just be you, bitch. Just, just do you be you. So has that changed, right? Have they transformed out of that energy? We'll look at the best possible outcome, of course. Um, for some of you, this is the end, right? Like, you've already made that up in your mind, and I get it. I get it. It would be warranted. We'll look at the new love in that case and see who's coming in once you have poured this last cup down the motherfucking drain. You see, there's another cup right there behind this figure. This person will have to watch this opportunity go down the drain, unfortunately, but there's um, something else back here for you, something that's more suited, something that's more fitting, and something that's more aligned. If you see it that way, we have the Ten of Pentacles, right? Something more valuable. There's some money over there as well. We'll look at the new love and a new cycle for you. See how that all unfolds. Let's also look at the blockages that may have you remaining in certain cycles. What needs to be released in order for you to propel yourself into the next cycle, whether it's with this person or the next. I'll look slightly into your finances as well, since we did see that 10 of pentacles and we'll get the best possible outcome of the new thing. Is there union in that? We'll pull some time frames for both old and new so you can um, get some signifiers of when you can expect those energies to make their appearance in your life. And then we'll get some advice on how you can speed up momentum towards your manifestations in the least amount of time okay so without further ado click that like button the subscribe button the notification bell and i'm going to put the link for the extended reading down below in the description box i'm gonna see y'all over there let's go cut the fuck up i, I gotta see this i, I, I gotta see it let's go